Hi guys and welcome back. Have you ever used if function? I'm sure most of you have done already and if you don't know about that, please look into my channel. You'll find a very easy tutorial to learn about if statement and how to use that. It's very handy logical functions. So let's go a little bit more deeper into the logical functions and have a look at if s. So when we need a formula, that does a bunch of if this, then that calculations, we use if s. So primarily if s evaluates multiple conditions, so nested formulas are not required in this case. So it's more simplified version of nested if, I'll call it. So for example, if s function looks at a cell and then depending on the value, it shows you different kind of outcomes. So let's let's give it a try. So in this example, for example, uh, if S function will look at the cell value in column C, and then depending on the value of the cell, it will show the grade in letters. So let's apply it. I'll make the screen a little bit more bigger so that you can see it easily. So let's try that. So the syntax is is equal to if S. That is the syntax, and then. I will select C4. If it is uh, greater than or equal to, let's say, 0.9, then the outcome should be, let's say, grade A. Let's do it like this. Then, in a case, C4 is greater than or equal to. Uh, let's say 0.8, then it should get us the result B. Again, if C4 is greater than or equal to 0.7, then it should give us the result in the text shape C. Another one, rather the last one, if C4 is greater than or equal to 0.6, then our outcome should be grade D. Now, that's the last one. Whatever comes below that, it should be graded as F. Parenthesis closed. So, if S, parenthesis start, you select the cell where you would like to evaluate and practice your criteria, then give the criteria itself greater than or equal to 0.9, as you can see there, and then outcome in inverted commas. So let's apply this and see what we have. So yes, that's a correct result. 0.7, if it's greater than 0.7, we'll give it C. Let's drag it down and see what do we get. Perfect. So we see exactly as we asked for, the results are there. We even have an F, which was actually if the criteria fails, which means if none of these and is below this outcome, then the person will be failed. So that was a quick tip, guys, on learning how to use IFS or if S statement. It's a, it's a rather simplified version of nested if, and it helps you to avoid uh, nested multiple conditions that you might have to engage with in if statement. I hope it was useful. Please do share your comments in the comments section. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the session, uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can see more of such videos. I look forward to speak to you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.